Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1434. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook file, either the start file or finish file so you could follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we got to see the sample DAX function to take a sample from a data set. Now, I'm not too sure how useful this function will be to most people, but it is interesting that they have it in DAX. I certainly wish I've had this type of function in Excel before. Now, in order to use the sample function and the DAX table function to extract a sample from this, we're going to have to put this into the data model. Now, I'm going to show you two examples, one, two. The first one, I'll show you how to get this table into the data model and extract a sample if you have any version of Excel 2016, then I'll show you the normal way if you have Power Pivot. Now, this sample function works over in Power BI Desktop also. Now, I'm going to click in the top cell, Control, Down Arrow. So I have over 700 rows of names here, and I want to extract a sample. Now, I actually have a sample size for each one of these sample extracts. So our sample size will be 50, and it's in an Excel table. So later, we'll change it, and our extract will update to that new sample size. All right, I've already converted this to an Excel table by going up to Insert and clicking on Table or using Control-T. Now, I'm going to get this into the data model without Power Pivot. I have Excel 2016, so all I have to do is click the Pivot Table button. And then right here, add this to the data model. This is a great cheat when you don't have the right version, but you want to take advantage of some of the features that the data model offers to you. So I'm going to click OK. It's immediately going to dump this sheet there, and I'm going to leave it there just for the time being. Come back over here, and now we're going to learn a trick we learned back in our last video. We need to call from the data model the table and put it right here, and then use our sample function. Now, last video we saw how easy this is to do. Even though we don't have Power Pivot, we dump that in the data model. It's sitting in the data model behind the scenes. We go up to Data, Existing Connections. And then over here on the Tables tab, we see a bunch of tables here. The one with the dark line is the only one that's in the data model. But I'm going to select that. When I click Open or double click this, it opens up Import Data. I click OK. And this will actually dump the same exact table there. But now we can right click anywhere in this data model DAX table and point to Table. And look at that, Edit DAX. Just like we saw in the last video, if you have a normal Excel table and you right click Table, that option isn't there. It's only because we used external connections to get this from the data model that when we point to Table, Edit, DAX, this is our dialog box for building an expression using the DAX formula language to alter the table we dumped into our Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to point to Command Type. We need DAX. Now, in order to get our DAX formula to work and return as a table, we have to use the command evaluate and then enter. Now we enter the sample function, open parentheses. Now, the very first argument in sample is the sample size. Most of the time, you just put a 50 here, or a 20, or 30, or whatever it is. Later, we'll come back and change this so it's dynamic and it's connected to our Excel table with our sample size. But I'm just going to put first argument. That's called n, the sample size, comma. The table, the name of our table, both in our Excel spreadsheet and over in the data model, is f names. The third argument, comma, we can either put an expression or a column. That's the column we want to extract from. So for us, it's the table name, f name, and then in square brackets, the field. Now, we only have one column in our table. Our next example will have multiple columns. But that tells the sample function to take this column, and the algorithm will sort it, put it into groups, take the first and the last one, and try and match the distribution and extract values from that column. And we'll look at an example how to see if 
it really is getting the same proportion of values from each group value. And then our fourth argument is whether we want it ascending or descending. Now, the default is descending, but I'm going to use ascending here. Close parentheses. Now, we're going to go to the F names table in the data model. Try to extract a sample size 50. It'll use the algorithm to sort first and last and try and get all the items in between and deliver ascending. So when I click OK, oh, look at that. That's the problem. I'm a bad typer. I'm going to click OK, right click, down to table, edit DAX. I got F names correct there, but not here. So I'm going to type an S. Click OK. Oh, I did it twice. <laughs> Click OK. Right click. Thank you for sticking with me through my bad, often bad spelling. Let's see if I can get this right. I think it's F names, names. I got my fingers crossed. Click OK. And there is our sample. Look at that. Now, here's what I've done. I have a unique list here. I already went through and created a formula to calculate the proportion for each one of these items. This is from the original table. Now, let's come over here, equals count ifs. Criteria range, this is an Excel table. So I point to the top, and when I see my downward pointing black arrow, I click. It puts the whole column name in, comma. The criteria is I'm going to try and count all the bellens in this column. Close parentheses, and then I want to divide it by the total count. I'm going to use count. That'll count not empty cells. Same thing, I'm going to count this column. Close parentheses, Control Enter, and there it goes. So you can see the proportion seems to be pretty close 0.9610, 13.212, 1110, 31.932. 11s, and we got some 12. So that's pretty good sample there. Now I want to connect this to this 50 over here. So then I can just change this to 20 or 10 or 100 or whatever it is. Now before I can right click Edit, I need to get this one into the data model also. So I'm going to do the same trick, Insert Pivot Table. Add this to the data model. I'm going to say Existing Sheet just to consolidate all of them over here. So I'm, this is just a cheat, right, to get it into the data model. Now I have two pivot tables there. Now I can come over, right click, down to table, edit DAX. And instead of using a typed in value, I can access a column by using the values function. Now values will extract a unique list. Since we only have one item in that column, it'll deliver just that one item. Now we need to put the table name, F sample size, no spaces, then square brackets, and then sample size with the space in between, close square bracket, close parentheses on values. Now I probably spelled it wrong, but let's see, click OK. There it is. By the way, I, we should have just looked over here. There's the field name. I can go up to design. There's the table name. Now let's try this. I'm going to come over here and type. 20, smaller the sample size. These proportions may be off a little bit, of course. Now I need to either right click, refresh, or I could use the keyboard to refresh everything. Control Alt F5. And there we go. There is our sample size of 20. We could see the proportions are not as good when we go from 700 plus to 20. If I say, let's 30, I'll change that to 30. Control-Alt-F5. There's our table to 30. And then they're looking much better. Now, let's go over and do our second example. Notice here we did it on a column that was text and had many, many duplicates. Now, over here, here's our table. We have date, transaction number, product, and sales. If I can control down arrow, so there's like 12,000 records here. I want to do a, a sample. And we're going to base it on the same sample size here. And we're going to tell the third argument in sample to look at this column. Now remember, the algorithm is it will sort it. And so the biggest and the smallest will be the first and last value. So actually, the biggest and smallest value will always be extracted. And then it will try to extract as best it can between the max and min value. All right, now this time, I'm just going to enter this in the data model. Having Power Pivot, I go to the Power Pivot ribbon tab, 
add this to the data model. If we go over to Diagram View, we can see we have all three tables. No relationship between any of these tables. Alt-Tab. Now right here, I'm going to go up to Data, Existing Connections, over to Tables. This one is F Sales. Du click Open or Double Click. We click OK. Right click. Table, Edit DAX. Select DAX. Highlight, Type Evaluate. Enter. Sample. Open parentheses, values, open parentheses, F sample size, square bracket, sample size with a space, close square bracket, close parentheses. So that just gives us whatever number for our sample size we type into the Excel spreadsheet. Comma, the name of the table is F sales. The third argument is the column. So F sales, square bracket, and this column is called Sales, close square bracket, comma, ascending, close parentheses. And now when I click OK, we should have, you know, look, there's the min, there's the max. You know, you could test that. I already did over here. And then there are the values extracted in between. Notice there's probably not going to be too many duplicates in this column. If there were lots of duplicates, it would try to do what it did over in our first example. But there you go. We have a sample size of 30. If I come over here, and we're going to change this to 100, Enter, Control-All, F5. Just like that, we get 100 here and 100 over here. Control-Home. All right, that was a little bit about how to use right-click Edit DAX once we've used our existing connections to get a table from the data model. And then we saw how to use the Evaluate command and Sample and Values to extract a sample. All right, we'll see you next video.